Hey everybody, welcome to our latest high school football chat. I'm Jamie Frankenberry. And I'm Larry Obama. Let's get right to it, Larry. It's hard to believe, but we only have two more weeks left in the regular season. Let's take a look back at last week and then we'll get uh, everybody set for this week's games, talk a little bit playoffs, a little bit about the playoffs, and then have our two-minute blitz. So last week, Larry, Lanstown at Salem. Big game. Salem was the favorite. I thought, you know, it was going to be a close game. Lansdowne wins 21-7. to You were there. What would you think of that game? I, I was real impressed with Lansdowne. They, you know, they had different issues the week before. They had lost the base side, but they came out this week focused on stopping Devontae uh, Williams, and they did. I mean, they held him to 31 yards, and then offensively, they got a big boost from Victor Jones. They didn't leave it all on uh, on the stoops to do everything, mm -hmm. but they got a big help from Jones. They looked really good, really, really good. Yeah, another surprising result in the beach. Bayside trounced Ocean Lakes. It was 42-7. to you know, Bayside has really been one of the hottest teams yeah. offensively the last couple of weeks. They scored 48, 40, and 42 points in three straight wins. Uh, the Marlins have caught fire. They have, and the other thing, too, their defense is playing well, doing just enough to hold, uh, and, and then they're scoring the points. So they got a great balance right now, and he's got to be happy. I mean, two fresh, I mean, two sophomore running backs, they got things going right now. John, John, has, John White has to be really happy about how things are turning out right now for the Marlins. Yeah, they've really hit their stride. They're in pretty good position for the playoffs. Uh, the other game that was really interesting last week, Lakeland at Grassfield, Darius Higgins. Now, he played last year. He had some good games last right, year, but right. he has three straight 200-yard rushing games. You know, the uh, the Grizzlies held uh, the area's leading rusher, that's Demontre Miltier, to only 100 yards. Right, right. Um, you know, so Grassfield looks like they're for real. I, I like them. They're really looking good right now. And, again, the defense is playing great. You get offense. That's been the key for them for the last several years. Now they're going to go for the playoffs. They got a big game this week. Then, of course, a real crucial game the following week. They got things wrong right now. Ken Martin Asprey keep it going. That's the key. Yeah, now let's get that brings us nice segue, Larry, to this week. That's why you're a good partner. We have uh, Grassfield at Nansman River. Yeah. This is a big game for Nansman River, the playoff. They're right. sort of fighting for some uh, playoff positioning. I'll tell you why it's a big game for Grassfield. They do not want to look ahead uh, to Oscar Smith for that regular season finale. I wrote right here, better not. They better not. La don't forget, la the last two seasons, Nansman River has beaten Grassfield. So this is a crucial game. Grassfield's got to have the momentum going into the Oscar Smith game. And then who knows what might happen if they can get to Oscar Smith. Maybe they beat him. Not sure, but at least have the momentum going into it. You do not want to go into that game with a loss against Oscar Smith. Yeah, Nansen Rivers played pretty well in the last couple of weeks, so it'll be pretty interesting. I don't. I think Grassfield, though, comes out of that. Darius yeah. Higgins, it's hard to believe he won't have a big game, but right. that'll be key for the uh, Nansen River team. Uh, Ocean Lakes at Cox. Now, Cox is fighting for playoff positioning. But, you know, this game is big because it really takes them one step closer to that elusive Beach District Championship, which they have never won. Hard to believe. Never won. And the one thing I know about that is they win this week. They play winless Kempsville next week. So they pretty much got it wrapped up. But one thing that uh, Bill Starkowski has told me a long time ago, it's great to be undefeated during the regular season, but his key is he wants to do well in the playoffs. So he, winning this district title will be great, but he wants to not just win one game in the playoffs. He wants to go further in the playoffs. So this is a big game for them here. They win this game. They can kind of relax a little bit going into the Kempsville game, get ready for the playoffs. Yeah, I'll tell you why it's big for Ocean Lakes. They are fighting for playoff positioning in the 6A South region. It's hard to believe, but they started 5-1 and one. Now they're five and three. They could miss the playoffs. They play um, a big game against Cox this week. They play Lansdowne next week. Larry Ocean Lakes, they're kind of behind the eight ball. They, they, they had to win the game last week against Bayside. That was the game they really had to win. But now they got to put that behind. They got to finish strong or they won't be in the playoffs. They got to they gotta win out. They gotta yeah, win. right now in the 6A South region, uh, Ocean Lakes is the eighth and final seed, but right behind them is Western Branch. So one of those two teams may not make the playoffs uh, unless they jump somebody else ahead of them. So that, it's a big game for uh, Ocean Lakes. Now, another big game, it's hard to believe, Great Bridge. One and seven Great Bridge against two and six Deep Creek. Larry, those two teams are fighting for playoff positioning, even though they only have three wins between them. The loser of this game probably can forget about the playoffs. So talk about that and what that means for those two teams. Lee Tolliver said, freaking wrong. <laughs> it, it, I can remember a time when a team, they lose one game, might not make the playoffs. They lose two games, might not make the playoffs. We're going to have teams right now not even close to just a few wins, and they might make the playoffs. That's wrong. I, it, I don't like it. I know they say, hey, the best team gets in, but I, I don't like that. Yeah, VHSL opened those floodgates right. a couple of years ago. Um, you know, this uh, the 6A South region is much more competitive mm -hmm. than 4A uh, and 5A, and even 3A. Is some, uh, so you're going to see, you know, an Ocean Lakes may go 6 and 4 and miss the playoffs. So we'll see what happens. Um, the other big game this week, Salem at Bayside mm -hmm. on Saturday. Now, this is another game. 
Salem fighting for playoff positioning in 5A, Bayside fighting for it in 6A. What do you think about the uh, the game Saturday? It's going to be homecoming at Bayside. It's going to be electrifying. I'm looking forward to it. Nice little robbery they got going on there. So I think it's going to be a great game. I, I still like Salem. They can go in there losing another game, going for the playoffs. So I like Salem in there, but Bayside has proven me wrong the last two weeks. They might do it again this week. Yeah, I like the Marlins in that game. They're at home, like you said, for the homecoming. And Salem just has not scored much lately. You know, they couldn't score against Tallwood very much uh and Bayside just hung 42 points uh on Ocean Lakes last week so we'll see how that goes so now you know what time it is <laughs> we bring this out the LA Galaxy uh lunchbox uh for the two minute blitz or some people refer to it the merciful end of the video let me start the uh car horn and we'll get right to it we'll see what we have here today uh for our two minute blitz questions all right Larry if you needed five yards mm. on fourth and goal who are you giving the ball to? I would say Ocean Lakes, Eric Crosby, but I know a few weeks ago it didn't work out, but I like him. He's a big man. I mean, you talk about the refrigerator. I mean, who'd you pick? You know what? I like Crosby. I thought of him uh, when you uh, when I asked you that question, but I'll tell you who is able to get those tough yards. It's Breon Mosley at Tallwood. Yes, yes. That yes, guy yes. is a hard runner. He's really playing well. It's hard to believe he doesn't have more college offers the way he sort of, I mean, he grinds it yeah, out uh, for that Tallwood team. So I like Breon Mosley. But you can't go wrong with Eric Crosby. He's a big dude. Who has the best rivalry? Um, I think that's a no-brainer. I think it's uh, Oscar Smith and Grassfield. That's the one game they played at the end of the season. Um, it always means something. It's been close and competitive, especially the last two years. You remember last year, Grassfield, they had Oscar Smith back uh, against the wall two late in the game. Yeah, yep, yeah. And they couldn't close the deal. So we'll see. Uh, what do you think? I, I say the same thing. It was, I was just thinking as you're talking about that. Remember Western Branch, Deep Creek used to be huge. Back in the that, day. That's yeah, gone, that and, and this one's huge now. But no, I agree with you totally. I think grass for Deep Creek, uh, Grassfield and Oscar Smith is huge. I hope we see a good game again next week when they play each other. Yeah, I think we will. I think we will. Okay, so let's see here. All right, who has the greatest football tradition? Greatest football? Oscar Smith. I mean, you look how many times they need the playoffs, how many district titles they've won in a, won in a row. They, they got it right now. I would definitely say Oscar. Yeah, Richard Morgan left before this season, but it's that sort of legacy that he built lives on. Um, you know, Lake Taylor's got a pretty good tradition. Yes, they they won yes, some they state do. titles. Yes, Hank Sawyer has really built that program right. into a juggernaut. Um, but, yeah, Oscar Smith, a pregame pre tradition, that's right. huge. Right. Um, yeah, I'd go cage. with the Tiger suit. Wrong. Yeah, cage. the Tiger cage. You love it or hate it, but you watch it no matter what happens. So. Uh, okay, I think it's your turn. What? Uh, I think uh, that's the car <laughs> horn. So that means that's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. Uh, next week, we'll head into the regular season finales, and we will talk about the playoffs, who's going to make it, who won't make it. Uh, in the meantime, check out our game uh, coverage on Friday night on 757teams.com, and we'll see you next time.